This video will provide some instruction on how to make insulated window covers for your van or RV. This will work for a ProMaster, which is what I have, or other RVs or vans. Um, this particular example is a driver's side window for the ProMaster. Now, uh, using Reflectix is fairly common. Um, that's, uh, there's a lot of information on the internet about cutting Reflectix and how to hold it up, maybe Velcro or some other things. I have done that before, but I am making a, a little more complicated but better insulated uh, window covering, and I'll be making these for each of my windows. I start with Reflectix, and so I've got my Reflectix. It is cut to uh, fit the window uh, area the way I would like, but then also I've got a few extra pieces of material. It's very difficult to see. But there is some netting tool or uh, bug netting or no seam, whatever honestly is the least expensive. This, this just gives one thin layer of material on the exterior of the Reflectix, but does not block much of the uh, light to let the Reflectix do its job and reflect heat and light back out of the vehicle. And so... This lightweight netting or tool will simply be a way to contain or encapsulate the Reflectix so it doesn't come loose from the backing. Um, then I've got another piece of material. This is batting. This is a high loft up to about half inch batting. You could use a Clima Shield or some other kind of uh, insulative type material. This batting is fairly inexpensive and easy to acquire. Uh, and then I'm also going to have another layer behind the batting that will be a really lightweight, breathable nylon fabric. I found some seconds for sale uh, that were quite inexpensive. And so um, I'm going to glue this batting to one side of the Reflectix, the interior side. I'm going to glue the netting to the exterior side of the Reflectix. And then uh, double check my fit and cut the uh, lightweight nylon that will be seen on the interior, won't be seen on the exterior, uh, but will uh, give a finished covering over the batting. Uh, I'm going to use some uh, rare earth magnets uh, to attach this one to the driver's door. So let me uh, do some gluing uh, with just some fabric spray glue. Uh, I'll cut my exterior or my back piece of lightweight uh, nylon and then um, pick back up with a different video clip. Here are all the layers of the window insulated cover. So I have glued the netting, difficult to see, glued the netting to the uh, window or exterior side of the Reflectix. On the interior or back side of the Reflectix, I have lightly uh, glued with some fabric spray glue the batting. And then now on the exterior uh, or on the back side, uh, what will be the interior side, uh, I've got this uh, nylon, lightweight, breathable nylon is what I used. And I've just kind of cut it oversized. I will trim it uh, after I make my first uh, run with the sewing machine. Not the best at sewing, but um, we're all about saving money, right? That's why we're doing it ourselves, not buying these off the shelf. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to sew right along the edge of the Reflectix all the way around through all the layers, and that will uh, sort of pin the Reflectix within the perimeter seam so that it can't move and the fabric can't, uh, can't uh, come loose. Once uh, I've made that run around and everything's uh, tacked in place, then I'm going to go out and uh, test fit the shade and figure out where around this perimeter I may need to add some of the rare earth magnets uh, to uh, stick to the metal uh, that's exposed on the driver's side door frame. So let's get to sewing and I'll be back. Here the perimeter of the shade has been sewn, uh, attaching all the layers together. And I've still got an uh, inch and a half or so of overlap on my lightweight nylon. I'll trim that more closely and then just do a rolled hem around the edge. Um, I've also taken this out to the van and marked the uh, magnet locations, and so I just used 
um, a, uh, a Sharpie marker um, to mark uh, where these needed to be. Let's see, I can show you. Like here, I just pulled this back, marked a dot. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to sew um, down both sides of my mark. And then I'm going to slip the magnet inside the little pocket. Actually, I'll sew all of this together. I'll slip the magnet in the pocket, and then I'll sew across the end uh, to sort of uh, pin the magnets in place uh, before I go and do the, the rolled hem around the edge to finish it out. These are the little pockets for the small rare earth magnets. I've uh, sewn them into uh, the fabric before I did the hemming, and they are actually on the uh, back side of the batting. So this is the side that is on the interior, so the magnets actually are strong enough to go through the batting and then uh, grab the metal of the door frame on the driver's door. Uh, depending on your magnets or your construction of the insulated window shade, you may have to put the magnets on the uh, other side of the batting, or you may have to use different size magnets. I experimented with a few different sizes until I found one that I liked. Here's the outside of the window shade. It looks basically just like Reflectix. If you get really close, which you may or may not see in the camera, you can barely see the netting that I used as a way to keep the reflectix attached to the rest of the insulation on the cover. Uh, but it should reflect uh, just about as much light, not quite, but just about as much light and heat. And this is the interior side with my gray uh, breathable nylon. And because of the way that this one uh, tucks back in behind the door uh, rest, armrest, I didn't have to put any magnets down low. So I ended up putting a magnet in the middle a uh, magnet up high, another magnet where the door makes a bend, and one final magnet at the front edge. Now this is plastic, but I popped it loose and on the back side epoxied a, a, a comparable magnet uh, to the back side of the plastic. And then uh, they, the traction is strong enough that through the plastic, uh, this magnet will keep the shade uh, fairly snug. So a couple of... Uh, Advantages to just doing Reflectix with the magnet sewn in, it's fairly easy to attach. Uh, you could also sew Velcro on if you're attaching to a non-metallic surface. The other thing is that uh, we've got a light color on the inside, so that's kind of nice, uh, rather than the, than the shiny, bright silver. Also, the half-inch batting adds additional insulation, and so that helps us out with our heat loss, heat gain. And then finally, the... Uh, batting hanging over the edge and the rolled hem, this fabric uh, makes a nice seal, air seal, around the window. And so uh, we're not going to have uh, the moist air leaking around and then condensing on the glass as bad as normally. So um, good luck with your window shade project. I'm going to uh, continue on with mine. I'm going to do the windshield shades just like this next and then my RV awning windows uh, further back in the van as well. I think this uh, insulation, in addition to the Reflectix, is going to really help me out, especially on the temperature extremes of cold and hot. So, from Wandering Wakes, happy trails.